We have all been there before. You are cruising through the fabrication on a build. You've got the hardtail installed. You've got the chain and the fender all fit up. You've got all the wheels assembled and everything is in a roller and then boom, everything comes to a screeching halt. You don't know how to wire the bike. Today, we are gonna take the wiring concept and make it super simple. So simple that you literally cannot mess it up. There are only six components to wiring a motorcycle. I'm gonna take you through all of them step by step with video to go along with it so that by the time you're done watching this video, you can take this diagram and go wire your bike today. All right guys, so the best place for us to begin is here at the battery. This is gonna be the heart of your system, so you're gonna to wanna to pop that wherever it's going to live, and you're gonna come from your ground cable. First thing we do is we hook up this. This is our frame ground. So what this does for us is now this entire frame can function as a ground. You'll be able to ground the headlight to it, the tail light to it, but this is step one. From your negative terminal, somewhere on the frame with a solid bolt that's not going anywhere, ground your battery to the frame. All right, so now that you've got your battery grounded to the frame, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is decide where you're gonna mount your key switch. Now you see this little tab right here? On my bike, the key goes in here. Doesn't matter where you put your key switch, this is just where mine happens to be. The next thing I'm gonna do is zoom you in on this and show you which terminal we're gonna to go to from the power on the battery. All right guys, so I got you zoomed in on the key switch here. And as you can see, we got a couple different markings on here. You see over here at the bottom left, you've got a B, that's for battery. And that is what we're looking to connect first. We're looking to go from the battery to this guy over here, the B section. After you got that hooked up, you see this other section here says G. This right here, the G terminal, is where we're going to go from and then over to the fuse block. All right, so just to give you a close-up look at what that looks like, we've got our hot wire coming through a 30 amp fuse and right over here to the B terminal on my key switch. Next, we're gonna go from the G terminal on the key switch out to the fuse block, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so now we've got this terminal hooked up to our G section on the key slot and that wire from the G is going straight into this fuse block and what that's doing is that when you turn that key on now the circuits coming all the way to this right here now this is called a ganged hot fuse block which means you have to only you only have to run one power cable to it and it will power everything on this circuit now this being a chopper we've only got headlight tail light, or excuse me, headlight, tail light, and ignition. So we don't need the other three. I will put a link in the description. You can buy these on Amazon for very short money, and it is such a simple way to conceptualize how the power is going out to the various circuits. It's also super easy to troubleshoot. Your three fuses are right here. Anything goes wrong, pop your seat off, take a look at your fuse block, see which one is popped. You are almost there. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so a quick recap of where we're at so far. I've got this disconnected. You should do this too while you're building your system because if you have it connected, any terminals you've got that you're working with can spark and arc out on the bike. So keep your ground wire disconnected for the time being. So we've got our hot wire coming off the battery through that 30 amp fuse right here, and that's going out to the key switch onto the B terminal. And then on the G terminal, it's coming back feeding into our fuse block, which is down below here. So I actually just zip tied the, uh, the 30 amp fuse right over these ports since I'm not using the other three, but you can do that any way you want. That's just how I've got this one set up. The next step that we're going to take is we're gonna make our ignition circuit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a terminal right onto this spade terminal and here we are so we are plugged into that center port right down there and we have gone right out to this terminal here now the, you are halfway done at this point with wiring your ignition the only other step is to go from this terminal here which again just the other side it doesn't matter which terminal you're on you go from the other side of your coil you're going to go down through the center of the cylinders on mine it comes right through here right down into here 
straight up through this port down there. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little better. And it comes to this terminal here. This is for your points. So you plug one end of the spade into here, down and out the bottom, up through the cylinders, and over to your coil. That's it. You are officially done with your ignition system. From the center terminal, out to the coil, down to the points. We've got our shop inspector roaming around with us today. He's going to help us finish off this wiring. All right, guys, next up, we're going to do the headlight. This one is even easier than the ignition. I've got a 30 amp fuse right here, and I've got a wire coming from the second terminal. It comes all the way down the backbone, all the way up to the headlight, and you can see it right on this side. It joins up with the headlight, plugs in, and then the other wire from the headlight is the ground, which comes out and down onto a bolt on beneath the triple tree. So that's all there is to the headlight. If your headlight has high beam and low beam, all you'd have to do, I'll take you around the other side of the bike, take your high beam and your low beam, which this one actually does have too, inside the headlight box, I merge them into one wire, and then this one wire, like I said, comes right back here, comes down, and connects to this port on our fuse block. This means my headlight and my high beam are constantly on. That's how I prefer it. These lights are not that bright as it is, so don't worry about it being too bright or blinding people. And then the other wire, like I said, comes right down here and grounds to this bolt. That is it. Your headlight is now officially wired. Easy. So over here, we've got old Bandit showing you guys just how easy it is to wire your bike. You are going to have all the time in the world to just sit and relax because this wiring is dead simple. All right, guys, we are now going to move on to the brake light. So my brake light has two wires, a actual brake light and then the running light. This particular one is welded into this sissy bar, which is bolted to the frame right here. So I don't need to run a separate ground wire, but your tail light might have three wires, in which case one of those wires will go anywhere on your frame that you want to put it. You can ground it wherever you'd like, and then you'll have two wires coming out of the brake light. So if we follow these wires down, what you're going to see is one of the wires Again, just for reference, you're coming down from here. One of your wires is going to go straight into your brake switch. You've got two plugs on the back of that brake light switch. So one of your wires will come straight out of your tail light and it'll go down into your brake light switch. The other wire is going to do a Y connection, right? So this is the other wire coming down and then it Ys out. One side of it goes to the other side of your brake light switch. The other section of that Y comes up and hits the third port on your fuse block. And that is it. You now have your headlight wired. You've got your tail light wired. You've got your ignition system wired. Your key switch wired. And there's only one step left. That is your charging system, which on my bike is up here. This is the regulator rectifier. Your stator is inside here. So your regulator rectifier has three wires that come out of it. Two of those wires are attached to this plug. So what you do, you take those two wires from here and you plug that plug into your port right here. This is a factory connection. This is how your stator hooks up. So you plug those in, that is your stator, your charging system, wired. So easy. The last piece, this right here, your regulator rectifier, has one additional wire with a ring terminal. That wire, we are gonna hook up one of two ways. On my bike, I usually hook it up right here. The reason I hook it up here is because that feeds directly into the battery. It's not part of this fuse. I just put it on this terminal so that way when I want to disconnect the battery, I don't have two separate terminals. But you can do it either way. 
All right, guys, and this is our final product. You've got right here, this is the wire coming from our regulator rectifier. It is going right into this terminal, which is receiving power from the battery. Guys, that is literally all there is to it. If you made it this far in the video, congratulations, your bike is now wired. If you like this video, give the channel a subscribe, share it with a friend who's having trouble wiring up their bike, and if you wanna make your ignition as simple as my ignition, one wire, click this video right here, and I'll show you how to convert your Evo Big Twin over to points. See you later, guys.